what is going on guys awesome nerd show here and today we're opening some more marvel legends and so we've got these two new uh two packs of marvel legend figures and they're both target exclusive so first off here we have the winter soldier or bucky and falcon two pack from avengers infinity war and then we also have the everett ross and eric killmonger black panther set and so supposedly both of these are target exclusives um they don't have any stickers or anything on them showing that and i believe one of these was props uh maybe gonna be I don't know. I feel like one was going to be a Toys R Us exclusive, but then because of Toys R Us going out of business, they made it a Target instead, and so that's why there's two of them. But of course, we got these two packs, and we'll go ahead and open them. So we've already done, or we've done both sets of Black Panther and Avengers already. Um, and so, like with the Black Panther and the Killmonger, we've already done uh, figures of him, and so it's very similar. It comes with you know similar weapons and stuff. And then of course, in older sets back with Civil War and stuff, we've had Bucky's and Falcons and everything. But we'll go ahead and get into it. I'll I guess since we'll do it like with release, so we'll do the Black Panther set first, then Avengers. So let's go ahead and get into the set. So here we're starting off with Everett Ross from the Black Panther set. So here is the character. I'll bring it up here so you can see it a lot better. So there's the face, and I think this does look like the actor Martin Freeman um, quite a bit. Like, I mean, it's not exactly, but it does look really good. And that's what surprised me nowadays, like how close they're getting these face structures. Used to be, you know, they'd be somewhat close, like as close as they could get, but now they look really good. So there we've got his face there. As I said, you can really tell it's him. Then we've got his, like, blondish gray hair. And the camera looks like... Like it's showing more blonde but it's more like a brownish gray color going in there as well and then he's just in a suit so there's nothing real special going on about him so he's in this all gray suit with like a bluish gray undershirt there and a tie and everything but I think it looks really good the way they did the suit and everything so of course he's got all the normal movements and stuff so of course has the head movement stuff he does have the shoulder joint but of course because of the uh, suit jacket it kind of limits the movement but he does have the bicep twist there and then a double elbow joint and then of course the wrist movement and everything then going down his body does have the ab crunch you can see and it does have the popping like click sound in there then of course the waist the thigh or hip joint there of course to move the leg around the upper thigh where you can twist it around and the double knee joints there and then of course the feet which he's got like these black uh, leather dress shoes on and stuff that I think look really good on him as well and of course has the normal feet movements and everything so as I said he's a kind of a uh, plain and basic character not much going on you know he's just in a business suit uh, type thing so there's nothing special but he does come with a pistol so you can obviously stick a pistol in his hand there so now he's got a gun um he, i was looking to see if he had any holsters but he doesn't have any on him so he's just you know oh he's pretty much gotta be holding the gun and everything and so that's really all there is to him so now we'll bring in eric killmonger here um so he looks really cool and i really like this so of course we'll bring it up close here so there's the face of michael b jordan again i think that looks really good and almost exactly like him so they did a really good job there and so there he's got the hair with like I assume they're like dreadlocks or whatever on like the top part there and then like shaved underneath as you can see on the side there and they got his you know beard and mustache and everything going on there as well then you go into of course his suit that he took as the Black Panther suit that's kind of more like uh, I want to say like cheetah related because it's got all the spots and we'll see that here in a um, second too but as I mentioned we've already done a uh, Killmonger I think he would it didn't have his face though or anything I don't believe I can't remember the figure exactly but from the Black Panther wave um, so here he's got a suit as I said it's an all black suit um, so it looks really cool and of course they did all these little like uh, I don't know what you call it, like dot designs, I would say, like all through. So everything's like raised. And so as you move your hand, you know, it feels like a bunch of like series of little dots and everything. But there he's got the necklace, of course, that the suit like comes out of. So they wear this. And then when they want to have their suit on, it just like forms around him out of the necklace here. So he's got that on. And then it's just in the all black and gold suit here. So you can see um, on his arms and everything, all the gold design going down all over his chest and everything down his feet. Where he's got the toes. And then, of course, in the hand, he's got the claws, long claws. I don't know why they make, give him that long of claws, but they do on these figures for some reason. So he's a little bit different in movements, so of course has the normal head movements and everything. But then he's got these uh, butterfly shoulder joints here, so you can get some like more range of movement out of it. And then of course has the normal shoulder joint, which it's kind of like stiff, but you can, yeah, see like raise his arm up and down. I mean, it's twisting a little bit weird, but you can like lift his arm up and down and side to side. So it's got a cool movements going on there that of course has like the bicep movement there, the double elbow or yeah, elbow and then the hand movements and then so everything else is pretty much the same. It's just this other additional joint there of like the butterfly 
movement there is really cool. So he's got that abs and waist, thighs, knees, and feet movement. So all sorts of coolness going on there. You can probably get him in pretty good poses and everything. So he comes with a bunch of accessories. So we've got his helmet here. So there is a look at the helmet there. So you can switch his head out if you want this helmet on instead. So it looks really cool and I like that design. It looks very mean and vicious again with all the gold going on with the black there and everything it looks really cool. He also comes with two fists here or hands that are like more clouds so you can like put them, switch them out so instead of the open like claw fit hands they have like more fist or like holding versions because he does also come with two weapons. He's got the sword, again this weird looking sword that came with the other figure as well and this spear which also was with the other figure. Um, so it's it's kind of weird that they just, you know, take took the same weapons and everything, and pretty much all they did was just switch out the head. Um, I'm sure the figure's a little bit different in design, but um, I feel they could have done a little bit more besides just adding in the head, but they added everything else. That's the same. But um, So for this box, just to read, it says, While Everett Ross is assigned to escort T'Challa to American soil, Eric Killmonger threatens the security of Wakanda borders from which T'Challa hails. So it's just kind of giving you the background there of story from the movie and everything on T'Challa and Everett Ross's involvement here and then Killmonger coming in to try and become the new king of Wakanda and everything. So that's going to be it for the Black Panther 2-pack. The next up here, we've got the 2-pack from Civil War of Bucky and Falcon. So we'll start off with the Bucky here, or Winter Soldier as they're labeling it. But by this point, it's just Bucky. Um, so this is kind of interesting. So we'll bring it up here. So you can see his face there. So it looks like Sebastian Stan, you know. Um, this is probably like the... Um, weakest one of the, all of them like the looks wise you know compared to the actor I don't think it looks as close but it's still you can tell that's who it is and everything um, but the with his face and so this is supposed to be from uh, Avengers Infinity War obviously but to me that does not look like him from um, Infinity War because he's got in Infinity War he's got longer hair and then more of a beard which they did kind of or like some stubble type stuff which they did make like some darkening around the chin but it doesn't really look like you know he's got a beard or anything um but yeah so this looks like face wise more probably closer to um the captain america winter soldier look for his face but you know it's still the same character so it's not like it really matters but then going down into his body and stuff so he's got the suit on again that he was just wearing in the movie it's like the dark blue color here and i like this whole like cross design into like the buttons over here so it does look like something he wore as the winter soldier um just new and different not you know soviet related and everything and then of course he's got his normal arm on this side and then of course the metal arm that he got from the Wakandans on this side and everything so it's the new metal with the gold it going into it there uh, being from Wakanda and everything so he's got his new cybernetic arm there and then going down he's just got normal like leather pants so on this side he does have some designs here probably some like uh, pocket type things or I assume hold weapons or something in there but it's hard to tell what that is they look just like buckles and stuff just things there around his legs and then going down in ooh, his legs all twisted around I just noticed and then going down he's got black leather like military style boots on there and everything and so that's all it really he comes with again the character like this is just kind of boring and stuff but he does come with a gun so it's like a long like rifle or it looks almost like what would be a sniper rifle or something but again it's the uh gold and silver design just like his arm so I assume it's a Wakandan weapon here um, so you can obviously you know put the into his hand and stuff and you know he has this giant gun now which I think looks kind of ridiculous but you know it is what it is but he's got the gun there so now that we've got Bucky out of the way we'll move on to Falcon here so here we've got the Falcon and again I think this looks really good and a lot like the character from the movie so there's Anthony Mackie's face there again looks really good which it's uh, works that they you know have the goggles on to cover up the eyes because usually it's more around the eyes that are what look different stuff but I think otherwise that looks just like him with his hair and then it's got his beard into the mustache and everything and they have the goggles as I mentioned there they're going into a suit just his normal black white and red suit or I should say uh, black and red with silver going into it um, so you can see he's got like the shorter sleeves on this because then you can see his bare arms there and then he's got these gauntlets with the gloves on it and he's got it on this side probably this is where you know controls a lot of his uh suit and everything with like a little panel or something going in there um then he's of course just going down to suit same sort of like shirt design and everything you know kind of supposed to be like a bird design going in there as like the uh 
comic book version had, you know, like a bird on its chest. Then go down, he's just got black leather pants on. Of course, he has a bunch of pockets and stuff around on his belt and everything. Things you can't actually do, but they've got him on there. And then go down, he's got the metal legs going in there. Probably to help protect his legs from when he, you know, lands on the ground and stuff from flying. And everything gives him some extra support into his legs so he doesn't just break his leg every time he lands. And then there's a look on the back. As you see, he's got the holes on the back there. So you can put his wings on, so we'll sit him there. So we'll bring in his wings, and so this is his wing set, so you can, you know, they're always folded out. They don't, like, fold down or anything, which is kind of disappointing, but I always usually like to figure with the wings out anyways. But you can take the wings off. Um, I'll just leave them on for now, but they come off of this silver backpack part here, and then there's the two prongs, so you can obviously just attach them onto the back, and we'll do that in a second. And then also at the top here, it does have this additional little piece that pops off here, of the backpack and I assume this is supposed to be Red, I think it's Red Wing, his little bird. Um, like in the comics it's an actual bird but in the movie it's just a little robotic bird that flies around. It's kind of like a drone so we can see all sorts of stuff and so that attaches. It kind of doesn't stick very well in the back. You just have to really press it down and of course his wings start popping off and everything. But let's go ahead and try and stick this in the ba his back here. There we go. So there we've got the wings on now and so there you can see Falcon with his wings and everything going on there. It looks really cool. And then for weapons, he just comes with this rifle here. Um, it just looks like, you know, an actual gun, not like all the others, or like Bucky's. That's like a weird, crazy looking gun. Looks like a gun you'd actually see in real life and everything. So that's cool. So just from the box it says, trained by different armies, but equally prepared to defend their allies from any threat. Winter Soldier and Falcon stand their ground to protect Earth from otherworldly adversaries. So there we go. So of course, uh, by this point, Bucky is now healed, or the Wakandans were able to heal him and he's now turned back into a good guy and everything so they're both fighting together on the good side in a, um, Infinity War and everything so that's going to be it for the Falcon and Bucky 2 pack so that's going to be it for the opening of these two Target 2 packs. Of course, we got the Eric Killmonger and Everett Ross pack from Black Panther. And then we got the Bucky and Falcon pack from Avengers Infinity War. They're both Target exclusives. And we were able to find, a, we went to multiple Targets and we saw these at each one of them. So, of course, um, we didn't buy them at each one. But So they are out there. So if you are looking for these sets, be sure to check your local Targets. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to see more of our Marvel Legends videos. And we'll see you next time. Next time.